Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to day 10 of the Inktober Art Challenge. On the screen here you can see the official rules for Inktober, followed by my unofficial rules for using digital inks which I've imposed upon myself uh, because obviously I'm participating digitally. And in case you're wondering what my digital inks are, I'm using my Pablo Coast 22 pen display tablet monitor teamed with a copy of uh, Clip Studio Paint EX. Uh, this, well, today's drawing was inspired by a sketch that I did back in 2005 in my sketchbook which is one of several sketches that I did for a series of paintings based around the idea of a fairy prince. Uh, what I'd intended to do back then was create a narrative story across several paintings, uh, sort of telling the story of this fairy prince character uh, I hadn't really fleshed it out and I don't know what the actual story was other than he was going to be in some kind of battle with a dragon because I do know in my sketchbook there's an image of him and a dragon that is really rough and you can't really make it out that it's either him or a dragon but because I drew it I happen to know what it is so it's not really worth showing you it but that's where this comes from and I just thought I'd try and do another version of that sketch and yeah, just sort of use that as inspiration for today's drawing but uh, that's how the sort of castle that you can see that I've put in the background on this sketch came about I think uh, my dragon is perhaps going to be either be living in this castle or perhaps over overtaken it from the fairy prince or something along those lines and this image itself is sort of him looking back and perhaps heading back to his castle for to maybe reclaim it or something like that But if you've been following this series, you will know that I've had a lot of trouble with my inking on these drawings. Uh, particularly inking, inking and lag between the pen and the tablet. And that's been causing me a lot of trouble. Uh, for this particular drawing, I tried different screen capture software and that did actually help. Uh, I seem to be a lot more responsive on this drawing. Uh, but that being said, this particular drawing is sort of very detailed and has a lot of fine lines and stuff. And I was getting very frustrated drawing it just for those reasons alone. It's like the lines needed to be a lot more accurate than on previous drawings, and I just couldn't get the accuracy. Uh, not being able to zoom in, which is one of the rules that I set for myself that I couldn't zoom in on the image but to draw it at the same uh, screen resolution the whole time. And as you saw there, I also broke one of my rules, which was not to erase any of the ink lines, but I messed up that main wing so badly that. And I was getting so frustrated with everything else, I just couldn't see the point of having to live with a really bad looking wing, so I erased that and redrew it. Because uh, the wings on this guy are meant to look like sort of dragonfly wings, and they actually ended up looking more like butterfly wings. And I don't know what I was thinking with the initial sort of shapes I drew on those wings at all. So I did erase at least once, but Otherwise, I left all the other mistakes in that I didn't like, such as look at the staff that the fairy prince is holding. The lines around that are way thicker than what I wanted them to be. 
and the shading on the castle looks pretty bad. Uh, his face looks pretty clunky. Like uh, drawing with the pen tablet is almost like drawing with a crayon on this particular drawing because it just couldn't handle the level of detail I wanted. So. Yeah, unfortunately I'm not too happy with this drawing, but maybe again I'll, sometime in the future I'll revisit it and do it again properly uh, when I don't have the rules imposed upon me like I have at the moment. So, either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next video, thanks for watching.